What's going on everybody? This is Mason. You are tuning into the YouTube channel Wasatch Pop. Guys, hope you're having a fantastic day. Fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. All right guys, so today's video is going to be an unboxing video and I am beyond the moon excited for what we got in the mail today. Um, there is... I don't know guys, I ended up picking up one of my personal Funko Pop Grails for a very, very long time. I finally bit the bullet, sold some pops to get it, and it is here in the mail. Very excited to show you guys it, but we've got a couple other packages to show as well, so we'll be showing off that Grail last. Unfortunately, you guys will have to wait and find a couple other things, but one of the things that I'm gonna unbox before that is related to that, but anyways, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so first things first, we're gonna start off with this Funko Shop package, which I said it's related to a grail that I got, so when we find out what this is, you might have a good idea what I ended up getting for the grail. But anyways guys, I got this off the Funko Shop. Funko's been doing, you know, surprise drops lately. They don't really have a set time that they announce that they are doing Funko Shop drops anymore, which that's kinda how it was in the past. You didn't know what was coming out, you had to wait at a certain time and find out what was going live that day. So they've kind of a little bit gone back to that. I wonder if it's trying to like avoid bots and stuff. I'm not 100% sure, but it's been working out for me so far. I've lucked out on getting the things that I've ordered in their different selling method that they've done on Funko. But uh, in this box, uh, looks like they did include a Wonder Woman sticker. If I'm not mistaken, I think I have already have one of these, but I'll have to double check. And we've got the pop itself. All right, guys, are you ready? Three, two, one. We have, oh, we got Ralph Wiggum. That's where I saw the leprechaun. He told me to burn things. All right, guys, my homeboy Ralph Wiggum. Man, he is a small looking pop. So he is one of the more side, known side characters on The Simpsons. He is the son of the chief police Wiggum that you guys can see on the back of the box right there. But Ralph, he's just kind of, I don't know, he's like, he's Bart and Lisa's age, but he's just such a random kid. He's, you guys all know that kid, right? That you grew up with in elementary school that always said like random things. You thought he was a little bit weird, but he was kind of funny at the same time. Class, in what year was one plus one? The answer is the amazing Ralph. That is a, that's Ralph Wiggum for you. So the figure himself, definitely to a T, he's holding um, paste or glue, and I'm assuming he's probably gonna eat that glue just because that's who uh, Ralph Wiggum is to a T. I think that's pretty dang hilarious. Um, a little side note about this pop, guys. I didn't think I was actually gonna receive this in the mail, so I put in an incorrect shipping address. I put a completely different city, and I thought it was completely lost, but the post office was really cool. They recognized my name when it was sorted and they ended up sending it to my old house at my parents' house. So I ended up getting the pop. I worried that it was gonna end up some random place, but ended up going to there. So there you guys go. There is Ralph Wiggum. He's gonna go along very well with all the other Simpsons pops that I have. And I am very excited to have Ralph in my collection. All right, guys, next up we have a package from DTLA Funko Connect. He is based out of Los Angeles. He always goes to Funko Hollywood and does, I believe like day, almost daily, well, a couple times a week, videos, live streams of Funko Hollywood showing off some of the new stuff that they get in. He has a really awesome Instagram page. He does raffles and all that fun stuff. And really cool guy. So the reason I got a package from him, I've been doing the Soup Troop Paka Pacas with my wife, Danielle, and there were a couple of chase figures that we were missing. So I had an extra Soup Troop Paka Paka Dragon that I traded with him, and I ended up getting the chases that we were missing. So. Let's take a look at those chase figures. All right guys, so we've got the three Paka Pakas that we were missing and this will complete the set, which I think is gonna be awesome. This is like the first kind of mystery style of things that I've ever completed or that we've ever completed, me and Danielle. But um, the first one that we have here is uh, this guy. This is the Chase Egg Drop Soup, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, I just, I think these are just so cool. They're like, I, I don't know if, I mean, I guess cute is the right word. I don't use cute very often, but I think that's a good way to describe these pocket pockets. So this is a chase figure one that we are missing. So this is the first one. And here is the second one. This is, I believe, is it shrimp gumbo, I think? 
if I'm not mistaken. So it's got that little smiling shrimp right there. Like I said, guys, I'm just gonna call these cute. What do you guys think? I think they're pretty cute, honestly. Uh, but yeah, so there is the second chase one and then we have one more. And last, but certainly not least, we have the golden chicken noodle soup. If it wants to focus on that, it's having a really rough time. Hold on, get back to my face. Get back to the, hey, there we go. So there is the golden chicken noodle soup chase. Definitely really awesome. And now, well, we have a complete set of the Soup Troop Paka Paka. So I have some extras. If you guys are needing some extras, let me know in the comment section below and I can help you out on those. But DTLA Funko Connect, thank you so much for um, doing this trade so we can complete that collection. And if you guys wanna go check him out on Instagram to see anything Funko Hollywood related or pop related, definitely go and check him out. Okay guys. On to the big boy. So somebody over on Instagram by the name of Colors Funko Pops, he, well, he is a collector of certain pops and I'm just gonna say Simpsons Funko Pops and um, he had a pretty insanely good deal on a original Simpsons pop and guys, you know how high, I am a huge Simpsons fan and this is definitely overdue. I, I don't know why I haven't picked up any of the original pops so far, but in here, is one of the original figures. And I sold a bunch of pops in order to obtain this and I am just floored beyond the moon, excited to show you what's in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. All right guys, you ready for this? I have one of my grail all time, I don't know, grail fuck up. I'm just gonna say grail again. Guys, we have the one, the only, original Homer Simpson, let's go. <laughs> This has been a long time coming. So guys, the original Homer Simpson, I can't believe I own this in my collection. So um, this came out, I believe if we wanna, yeah, check the year on the bottom right there. So this is a mega old pop. This is about 10 years old. So this came out in 2011. Original Simpsons, I mean, if, if we're being honest, guys, so some of the original pops look a little bit strange, if, if we're being honest, I mean, still, that's, I mean, obviously you can tell that's Homer Simpson and it's a Funko, but it's interesting to kind of see the molds, how they've kind of changed over the years and everything, but holy crap, guys, I can't believe I own this in my collection. Um, so the other ones that we are gonna be needing to get are on the back right there. So we have Marge, we have Krusty, and we also have Bart. So overall guys, this is actually in, for being like a 10 year old pop, I'm looking around. The only thing that he did tell me that was wrong is they're like a little mark on top and I don't even think it's that bad. But overall guys, this is in like insanely good c condition for being a 10 year old pop. You can't find this anywhere on eBay in the condition it's in right now. I honestly might keep it in the case that it's in right now. I'll probably take it out of the box um, to do a picture with it like I always do. But guys, I am so happy to finally have this in my collection. Like. I don't know, I just finally bit the bullet and decided to go with it. Sometimes you gotta do that in Funko collecting and well, I finally did it. So there you guys go. There is the original Homer Simpson. If you guys wanna go and check out Colors Funko Pops over on Instagram for Simpson related Funko stuff, definitely go and check them out. And thank you so much for hooking me up with an awesome deal here on the original Homer. Woo, guys, that was a fun video. Hopefully you enjoyed that um, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you into the, any of the Simpsons Pops? If so, what's your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos similar to this one. Guys, thank you so much for watching again. You guys are the best. Like always, remember to be kind to one another and always promote positivity and I'll see you in the next video. We'll catch you guys later.